When they ask who made the potato salad, you are going to be very proud to say it was you. Let's get into it. Summertime is here and you know what that means? That means it's grilling and cookout season. And there's nothing better at a cookout than salad. And I'm talking about potato salad. I'm gonna teach you how to make my traditional mustard potato salad. We're gonna start by using russet potatoes. I like to use the medium sized potatoes because they cook faster. I keep the skin on when boiling my potatoes because the skin prevents the potatoes from getting too soaked with water. So this is gonna be really, really easy. We're gonna put our potatoes in a nice sized pot. You wanna make sure you have enough room. I'm using six potatoes. I also boil my eggs with the potatoes that way they can cook together now my ratio is one egg for every two potatoes i have six potatoes i'm going to use three eggs i'm going to put my eggs in there and then you're going to put enough water in here to just cover the eggs and potatoes okay okay they're swimming we're going to boil these for approximately 20 minutes. A good way to tell if your potatoes are done is you take a fork, you stick it in there. If the, if the fork goes in there nice with no problem, your potatoes are done. If it's a little rough or tough when you stick your fork in your potato, your potato is not done. We do not want crunchy potato salad. I'm gonna put these on to boil and we're gonna start working on our vegetables. I multitask when I'm cooking so everything can get done really, really easily and simply. So while our potatoes and eggs are boiling, we're gonna get started on our onion. We're gonna dice this really, really fine. I don't like to bite into huge chunks of onions in my potato salad. I do not, but onions are a must. So we're gonna dice this really, really fine. And I use sweet onions in my potato salad because they are sweet, they are juicy, and they are a great complement to the potatoes and they won't overpower the potatoes. I like to put my hand on top. I'm gonna to make a couple of cuts on the side, three. See if I can get one more. Go ahead, do four. I think we're only gonna use one, a half an onion for this recipe. After you've put your horizontal cuts, you're gonna go back in vertically on both sides. And then this is the easy part. Knife goes right through. This is a beautiful way to dice onions. For my potato salad, I like my onions really, really, really small. So all we're gonna do is you keep your the tip of your knife on the board and you're just gonna go through and go up and down to get a nice fine dice. Always keep your fingers down on the board. And go through this as many times as you like, depending on your preference. Okay. There we go, a beautiful dice. Once your potatoes and eggs are done, we're going to chill them in an ice bath. This is going to stop the cooking process and allow us to peel them easily. Let me show you how easily these eggs are to peel. You take it, you roll it, and look at that. The shell comes off so nicely. You don't have to worry about peeling any of the egg back. The full egg is intact. Let me show you one more time. You're going to take your egg and you're just going to roll it around on the surface and peel that shell right off. Wonderful. Let me put y'all on to game when it comes time to peeling these potatoes. I use a spoon. You use a spoon and you go around and look at that. The skin just slides right off. You don't have to worry about taking too much of the potato off. You don't have to worry about any skin being left on. It comes right off. And this is because we put them in an ice bath. The potatoes are tender and the skin just slides right off. All right, let me show you one more time because it's such a great thing to see. You take your potato, you take the spoon, and you just go around gently. You don't have to press in too hard. 
and you just go all around the surface and that skin is going to be removed so nicely, so easily. This is the easiest way to peel potatoes for potato salad. Oh, don't worry. You're welcome. When it comes time to cutting the potatoes, you want to get nice, even dice on each of the potatoes. It makes the salad just much more pleasant to eat. So I start with a cut down the center of the potato and then I slice it one time on each side and I just go through and I make really nice size cubes. I do this with all the potatoes so all the cubes are equal and I do the exact same method with the eggs. I slice it down the center, I slice it horizontally and then I go through and I chop it. Now I treat my eggs like I treat my onions. I don't like huge slices of eggs in my potatoes so I go through and I run my knife through the eggs one more time to get really fine dice. It's time to put everything together. We're going to season this mixture in the bowl. I have the potatoes, the onions, and the eggs. We're going to season with some salt. Of course, be generous with the salt. We're also going to season with some black pepper because black pepper is a must. And then, of course, we're going to use just a little bit of garlic powder. That's going to add a little punch to this salad. Now, I am eyeballing this. We're going to use mayo. I don't use Miracle Whip because it's sweet. I like to use mayo. And we're also going to use mustard because this is mustard potato salad, so regular mustard. And we're also going to use some sweet relish. The sweetness from this relish is going to balance this potato salad out. Now it's time to mix everything together. I actually fold the ingredients in. I am very cautious not to mash the potatoes. Now there is a such thing as mashed potato salad. It's very delicious, but this isn't the texture that we're going for here. We are going for nice size pieces of potatoes and we want everything equally incorporated. So I am very careful when I am folding in the ingredients. Once everything is all mixed in, of course you have to taste your food and then we're going to adjust as need be. This needs a little more sweetness. So of course I'm gonna add my sweet relish and then I'm going to mix everything in, make sure it's all incorporated. And before I finish it off, of course I have to taste it. Now I know what taste I'm going for and that is it. This is it. This potato salad is ready. So I am going to just flatten it all out. Now, typically people sprinkle this with some paprika or they add little eggs to the top. I'm not gonna do that, but feel free to do that. You are going to chill this in the refrigerator for at least two hours before serving. And bon appetit, let's eat.